Sam. Do you think you could do something else for a few minutes? Go fishy. Go fishy. Go do something else. There you go. Hi everyone. This is just going to be an update on this tank. I call this tank my pseudo Dutch scape um, for a couple of reasons. One, it is not a true Dutch scape. And two, I have pseudomoguls in it. These are the pseudomogul luminatus. Uh, I also have the hummingbird tetras, which I was not planning on keeping in this tank permanently. But the pseudomoguls really kind of like shulling with them and uh, the hummingbirds seem to like them. So I don't know, I might keep them in here. Also has Sam who likes to hang out under this moss bridge. He is a pandagora. And this tank is the most difficult and takes the longest to maintenance out of all of my tanks. Um, but it is also my favorite one to do maintenance on just because it's so zen for me and I like just working with it and trimming the plants and stuff. Uh, another reason it's not a true Dutchscape is that I do have some rocks in here and Dutchscapes typically do not have hardscape. So there's one that is tucked in behind this pearl weed that goes down into the substrate and that kind of keeps the pearl weed from going back into the tank further. There's another one that's holding up the Anubius Nanas here. And then this one I've recently added that has some buse tied to it. I don't know what kind of buse that is. There's actually two little rhizomes there. I just got it for a uh, trade-in for some of my AR and crits. And what I like to do is before I take out any water, kind of assess some of the plants. And like I can see right now, this golden Mirio really needs a good trimming. Uh, I may trim a little bit of the AR, not a ton. Pearlweed needs to be trimmed, moss bridge needs to be trimmed. Um, some of the older leaves on this aquarium lily need to be cut off and the rotala needs to be trimmed. I kind of get down to like eye level and take a look at it. Sometimes I'll trim it, put those trimmings in a bucket and see if I want to replant them or do something else with them. Um, and sometimes I will actually dig them up and then move them. Um, I think I may want to do that this time because if I keep cutting this, it's just going to keep branching and I don't want it to keep branching. So that one is actually going to get uprooted. That wasn't actually too bad. Get the little snails off it. And then look at like, okay, about how tall do I want this? I am probably gonna trim it about here, I think. At least. Maybe more like there. I don't wanna over trim it done that before and then I'm like really unhappy about how this looks and then so like this stem I'm not gonna save it's just gonna go in the bucket for now I'm surprised Sam is not all over my hand just cut all that off goodbye Oh, there he is. Hello, Sam. Just kind of getting like a nice sort of graduated effect there, kind of. I think I'm pretty happy with the way the Mirio looks now. Sam, I need to cut that leaf off. 
<laughs> He's so smart. So this golden, um, golden Nisea is doing so, so. This is a new plant for me. I've tried growing it before in like a low tech tank and it didn't do well. So I thought I would try it in this tank and it's doing so, so like the parts back here that are growing look okay. Some of the older leaves look a little potassium deficiency ish. That is something I perpetually struggle with. Um, and then this piece here uprooted itself and while floating, the stem just kind of rotted off. So I'm gonna try to get to a good part of that stem by pulling some of the lower leaves and it'll just be really short and hopefully it will come back. So yeah, a lot of the older leaves are coming off. I don't know if it's just uh, what do they call it? Converting? Or if it's not okay? I don't know. It's not the end of the world if it does not do well for me. There's another little stem that's decided to uproot itself. So the AR stems that I'm cutting will go into a different tank for now. And if anybody wants them, do sell them. Um, I really like to just give my stuff away for the price it costs to ship it because like, if I have too much of something and I don't want it and it's something that somebody else could enjoy, then I'll just give it away. Um, but I do like it if people could pay the shipping, which is like, between 10 and 12 dollars for priority um, and then i would definitely make it so that you got 10 to 12 dollars worth of plants and i'm totally fine selling them everything except like the pink flamingo crips i do want five dollars for and i do need to sell like four of those um there is a runner developing in this tank that I don't want in here. This crypt also has been doing some reverting. See how that leaf is like half green and half pink. I don't like that. I've been cutting off the leaves or pinching them that are doing that. That one actually looks kind of cool, but I really should probably cut it off. Um, Cause I, I'm hoping the plant will learn like, hey, if we go green, we get eaten. So let's not grow green leaves. I don't know if it'll work. Now this Bacopa I just bought, not that long ago, this is the Caroliniana. Uh, and all of the stems were tall, and as they've been getting too tall, I have been trimming them. And I don't know if you can see back here are a lot of the trimmings that I've replanted. I don't have any that are sort of medium height yet. I'm just kind of waiting. Ideally, that would be like a graduated short to back. Um, short, to, short to back. Short to tall, front to back sort of look for that as well. Um, I just like the contrast of the leaf shape with the other leaf shapes that are in here. Some of this Limnophila, uh, it is Limnophila sesiflora is looking kind of anemic. I, like, I barely touched that and it just broke off. I'm not really sure what I wanna do here. I think I might just give it a root tab and hope it grows a little beefier. It has not been nearly as happy since I have moved it from the left side of the tank to the right side of the tank. But I like it on the right because I put the Golden Mirio on the left and I feel like it is 
too similar in texture to have right next to it. It kind of just looks or looked like uh, some of the golden Mirio just wasn't golden. So that's why I moved it, but I do think I'm gonna give it a root tab. All right, so I've gotten most of the things trimmed except the moss. I'm gonna actually do that in a bucket of water just so the little pieces don't go everywhere in the tank and then root in. But I don't think I will actually trim this little pile <laughs> of pearl weed this week. I think I might let it grow one more week before I trim it. It doesn't look too bad. But I do see, uh, like right in this Simone there sitting on the surface and then like in the back where I was messing with some stuff, there's a bunch on the surface and I want to clean that up because too much of a good thing is too much of a good thing. All right, so the very last step for this tank, which is extremely important, and if I don't do it, Sam will start swimming in circles around the thermometer. So that last step is he gets a treat. Fishy. Sam. So the reason I thought I would attempt to show the maintenance on this tank is because I do enjoy it so much, even though it does take about two hours a week, I wanted to make another tank that looks like this and go for more of a Dutchscape from the very beginning. And that would be this tank, which is completely torn up at the moment, except for right here. This is marble. And I got him months ago and after about a month noticed that he had three little red threads hanging out of his little bum there so I had a treat for camelanus and that's why it's all torn up because the larvae for those live in the substrate apparently until they're mature so he's done with his second round of treatment just today and after two more weeks of Siphoning the bottom, I think I will begin adding some new substrate. And then these plants over in this tank, this is Limnophila heparoides, and that's going to go in there. That's a new one to me, uh, but it's been doing really, really well. This one down here is Rotala macrandra. That's also a new one to me. And then these two were sold to me as one plant for $8, but it's actually two. And that is um, Lagenandra me bold I read. And then I'm going to be putting some of this in there as well, which is the mermaid weed that Jeff gave me. And these are two additional stems I've been able to propagate from the one that he gave me. So I now have three. So those will go in there and then obviously I need more. It'll be a fun project. I need um, a glass lid and another CO2 manifold for that thing. And I already have the new light for it. So I hope you enjoyed this and it wasn't too boring. I need to fix that limnophila. Um, <laughs> I know, I've just been kind of rambling here, but I'm trying something new. So, <laughs> if you didn't like it, that's fine too. Um, but I hope you all have a great day. Thanks. Bye.